welcome. Welcome to class again. It's always a pleasure having you. And I want to say nice having you in class again today. How you doing? How was your rest? I hope you enjoyed your time. Today we are looking at a very fantastic topic and that is note stems and note stem direction. Can you repeat that after me? Note stems, yes, and note stem direction. So we are going to be looking at the definition and how these stems work on notes. Stems are the thin vertical lines that are directly connected to the note head. I'll take it again. Stems are the thin vertical lines that are directly connected to the note head. Can you see this particular stem to the right side? It's a black stem. It's a black note that has a stem. Not all note heads have stems. And not all notes have flags. So we are going to be seeing them as we proceed. But we can also say that stems can be called tiny vertical. I did not say tiny horizontal or tiny diagonal. I said they are what tiny vertical lines that are directly connected to the note head, whether it is facing upward or it's facing downward. So a simple definition is it can be stems are vertical lines that are tiny or that are what thin. Either one you make use of is correct. Now, we can also proceed to say stems point upward, point up or down on the staff. This is possible depending on the space of the line. So, where you draw it matters a lot. We are going to look at it in the next slide to see why and when it should face upward or downward. All right. There are three parts of each note. How many parts? Three parts of each note. We have the note head, we have the stem, and we have the flag. We can call it a flag, or we can call it what a tail. Every note has a note head, either filled, when it is filled or shaded, we call it black, or open, and we call it what white or unshaded. But remember, they have complete three parts. Now, taking a look at these notes, these notes, we can see the purple is just a note head. It's a semi-brief note in music. We have the green, it's a meaning note. If you see it has white or it is open, then we have the black, which is a crotchet note. It is what shaded or it is black head, but they all have what stems. We call them stems. We don't call them rope or tiny strings. They are stems. Now look at this note head. We are starting to label it, then we have the stem. Let's look at the next one, which is the complete. We said a note has how many parts? Three parts. Now the green part is the note head is noted for all notes then we have the stem and also a flag we say we call it a flag or we call it a tail the blue is stem the red is what flag not all has flags so take note of that some notes do not have flags and some notes do not have stems all right within one voice the stems usually point down for notes on the middle line and above all stems have its direction facing or pointing upward. Is that clear? So once um, your notes are between the third line and above, all your stems automatically faces or points where downward. Now look at what I was saying. On or above the third line. If it is on the third line, it will come down or it will go up. Depends on what you want. But once you start producing upward, the all the stems must face downward. While also within one voice as well, the stems usually points up for notes on the middle line and below. All notes drawn from middle line and below faces all the points where upwards. Don't forget that. Don't make any mistake. Line three and above, all the stems comes where downward. But line three and below, all the stems point where upward can you see this i hope you can differentiate between the two when it is on line three on line three also you can take your stem up or down but once it passes line three they come down and once it is below line three from middle c to line three it is what's facing upward if the stem points up from a note head hmm, the stem originates from the right hand side of the note but if it points down, it originates from the left part of the note. What do I mean by this? When the notes are pointing downwards, your stems must come to the left side of your note head. And when it's going upward, 
Can you see this? When it's going upward, it goes to the right side of the note head. But once it is coming downward, it must come to the left side. Don't make mistake in putting your stems, please. Don't, uh, don't make that mistake. Then we have what we call beaming. What did I say? Beaming. We only beam notes that have flags or tails. Most especially. Not because you cannot beam the notes that do not have all. But these are the ones that are so common for us to beam. Quaver notes are beamed notes. In musical notation, a beam is a horizontal or diagonal line used to connect multiple consecutive notes. That's the definition. A beam is a horizontal or diagonal line used to connect multiple consecutive notes and occasionally rest to indicate rhythmic grouping. Why do we beam notes? To indicate rhythmic grouping. That is the reason why we beam notes. But they are horizontal diagonal lines used to connect what notes. We do not just put our stems anyhow. Some are long, some are short. It must be one octave. One octave consists of eight notes. So when you start from A, you draw your note on A, the line must end on A. So take note of this. This one now that we are seeing, we started on E, space above. It got to E on the line. Space as a line below, it got to the space E. It must be one octave. All right, so don't forget that stems are tiny notes that are connected to the note head. Thank you for sitting still. It's a very short class because we are only de dealing with what? Stems, all right. So before I leave your face today, I want you to go over and answer your quiz. Quiz helps you to know if what you learned you had an understanding from it. After your quiz, proceed to your assignment. I enjoyed your class today, and I know you did also. All right, it's time to say goodbye. Until I come your way again, it's Mr. Lamari signing out saying goodbye. Love you.